I hear a, uh, I hear another game about to be thrown our way. Oh, we're getting this Visceral is... and Fiend. Oh, let's go. Oh. Fiend doing really good today. Is Fiend different than Visceral. Sonic Fiend? No, it's, I see, it's Sonic. I see somebody named Fiend playing Sonic. Oh, that is Sonic Fiend. It's Sonic. Okay. Yep. <laughs> The, the one and only, the Sonic. All right, team. now, hmm, this matchup. Now, Sonic Online has a bit of a reputation, but uh, I, I do think that, in general, like, Sonic can be played around. You just gotta, you know, do what's necessary. You can't just do what you want to do, because yes, then Sonic will just be able to, you know, exploit that brutally. But as we're seeing in the start of this game, Visceral absolutely being able to answer what Sonic Fiend is trying to do. Oh, with 91% on him. Oh, he looks for that Back air from the mid stage. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Man, All I, right. I, for I forget yeah. how strong, strong Wolf is. Yeah. All right, so a key thing about the Sonic matchup, right? If you run like really fast at a wall, you might hit that wall. So the wall that Wolf could put up is that blaster. So Visceral really knows how to move around, like hit like hit their buttons, and then like throw in that that uh, blaster just to cover their landing, making it really oh. tough for Sonic to get in on. But spacey recovery. Yeah, just a fantastic timing and placement from that spring. And now Sonic Fiend managing to tie up the stock count, but oh, look at this damage. Wolf's output is just so, so strong. And now he's one wrong move. Sonic Fiend could get sent to the Blast Zone from mid-stage. Oh, that was a nice space of recovery right there. Ooh, still got a fully charged. That That's kills? Like All right. Goal. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf, very uh, explosive. Has to watch out for stray hits. Whenever you get hit by this character, you could potentially die at 100 straight up. Or maybe earlier. Character hits right. Alright. Being the wall with the blaster again. Yeah. And it's, it's important to keep in mind that, as well, if you can't just spam blaster. It's not like you can oh, just no. be like, ah, he's in the ball, just shoot the laser. You, you have to carefully time this stuff. You have to understand, you know, that that move does have a decent amount of lag on it. And also, there are certain properties to Sonic Side B that can, you know, help him, you know, if he, if uh, it's mistimed, definitely will get punished for it. Ooh, the forwarder off the stage. Yeah, Sonic could also have an easy type of edge guarding Wolf too, as Wolf has sort of limited options as to where he could go uh, compared to Sonic. And Sonic has the speed just to catch up to every any straight hit that could take him off the stage and kill him for it, like that forwarder that happened in the last stock. Ooh, good damage from Sonic Mean. Forward tilt. All right. Oh. Jesus, catch the jump with the back air. Very dangerous. That, that back air, yeah, that back air almost ended the stock outright. Just... <laughs> A little on the absurd side here. Okay, back throw. Oh. We were talking before about how the edge guard oh. so good. Oh. That's all Sonic Fiend stock. I have one frame. All right, now both of these players have in the red on their last stock. Wolf definitely has more options in, that will kill at this point. But nonetheless, Sonic has a really fantastic neutral, and if he get if Wolf gets put off stage even slightly with the right setup, that can end his life. So the next hit in this in this game might actually decide the whole thing. Okay, maybe not a single jab, but there we go. This is the off stage situation we were talking about before. He should be able to make it back, and now. We won't really have a timeout situation, but uh, these two are neck and neck in percent. Oh no! That that spring was so well placed, but he wasn't able to get around it. That's gonna be Sonic Fiend taking game one, despite the the initial strong start from Visceral. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> All right, good stuff. The Sonic Fiend taking that game number one. Unfortunate SD from Visceral right there. They probably thought they were just gonna like ride into the spring just to see if they can like hit it and then recover again. But I, I guess they just mistimed it. Yeah, it's... It, granted, in the online setting, there are probably a multitude of factors that could have led to that SD. Mm. Could have His input could have gotten eaten or something. 
Yeah, although that was actually the second time that it happened that game. Uh, I think that first time, as we just saw that upbeat recovery, he was maybe trying to play a very close to the ledge because he didn't want to overextend uh, past it because, you know, Sonic could just hit him out there again. But the second time, that was probably just a, just a forced error. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go on the game number two, see what Visceral wants to counterpick here. It's two at, oh, he has two. All right, cool. Little mistakes from Visceral. See if they can clean it up here. Maybe potentially close out the set, make it the winner's semis. Using that blaster, keep Sonic out. That Nair trade too, just a trade with any move. Priority. Very strong for Wolf. Oh! Sonic being <laughs> catching all the landings. Tries to do it again. Oh, I, that was such a good bait with that short hop up air because it, it got a uh, it sort of forced the timing onto visceral and as we see being trapped at the ledge over and over again that's 99 percent that's been dished out onto visceral with barely half of that uh being given back to sonic yeah. so i've been going for like these little these little shoves right they're, just, they're trying to shove wolf off the stage just to force him in a bad situation in a very limited situation as wolf has to choose a quick option like off stage. Oh, nice up smash. Catches the landing with the up smash. Very good, very good. Takes in the first stock. Let's see what Visceral is going to do to keep up with Sonic Fiend. As Sonic Fiend is playing uh, quite a little fast for him. Dash attack. Stage. Can now, one thing I'll say about Sonic Fiend is that even though he has the lead right now, he's still playing a pretty up close game. He's still opting to interact. He doesn't want to just, you know, totally hang back and let uh, Visceral do the full approach all by himself. I think part of that might be because he respects, you know, the, you know, those lasers and what Visceral can do from a distance. And so he's, you know, maybe trying to still engage on his own terms when he can. Yeah. It's still a three stock game. For Sonic Fiend at least, so he can definitely choose to do that. Like that laser is going to build up a lot of damage for that dash attack to kill. So they have to definitely be careful about that at the same time. <laughs> That's the second time we've seen yeah. that. It feels like somebody like doing like a wind up punch and winding it up for like a minute and then punching you. Yeah, it's... You never know I when it's actually going to come. Yeah, exactly. So that's the scary thing about that move. It's like you either block it and he's still safe, or it hits you and it's like, wow, I just took like 20 or something <laughs> from getting hit by this. Ooh, the forward air catching the land. Hey, this will... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you hit him? He was having fun right there. Yeah. <laughs> Too much he was fun. having a grand old time on that spring and you had to go in there and punch him in the face. What did, what did yes. Sonic ever do to you? Don't answer that. <laughs> Ooh! Woo! Okay. I mean, it, it looked very explosive, but it didn't actually take yeah. the stock. Although, yeah. now Sonic Fiend is at the percent where, like, a back air. Oh! Look. Yeah, okay. Without the rage, it's going to be harder from Visceral to do it. But, still, he can take us. Like, right now, he can still take the stock. Yeah, Sonic being a really good wall against a uh, Wolf uh, pressure and uh, an offense. Like, not really running into stuff. Staying right out of range and making it really hard for Visceral to get a hit on. All these uh, homing attacks are very helpful into catching Wolf and whatever like movie whiffs. Yeah, and I also want to just I want to dwell for a second on the psychology of fighting oh. against Sonic, specifically the difference between like two stocks to one and three stocks to two, which is what oh, we yeah. had before. And now it's like every single time Sonic nicks you, it just really hurts because you know that that's damage that you can never take back. And now he is down 82% against the Sonic on his last stock. Yeah. And oh, so scary. yeah, not only does the percentage matter because of, uh, you know, now technically, if uh, Sonic you wanted to play the waiting game, like he is now, uh, Visceral yeah. has to approach. But also, those little hits from Sonic that don't necessarily kill are now almost certainly putting Wolf off stage, nonetheless. Meaning that any hit is going to end up into a ledge guard situation like we see here. Oh, yeah, you can't roll. You can't jump in and trade it with Nair that you that you want to so bad. Oh, the footstool? Oh! Okay. You're lucky that goes so high, Sonic. <laughs> oh, homing attack. Very fast. Oh, very scary on the ledge. I'm clapping. Yeah, good job shielding every one of those up smash hits. 
And now Take Visceral, advantage of Sonic on the platform. 137%, but he is staying alive, and Wolf has that crazy kill power. We've seen it happen time and time again. Sonic Fiend definitely aware of that, but so he wants to end this immediately. Throwing out oh! They the tried third. to challenge it, and it, oh, it killed. What's the counter kill? <laughs> Probably roll, like, maybe make him land on the platform. Like, I don't know if it goes <laughs> through the platform, but it's just... That is such a fight or fight situation that he got caught by so many times during the set, and it ended up being fatal just, to, just for him just to try something there. Like, he just he yeah. whips it. Yeah. I wonder if he it's had like, gotten hit on the ground, would he have died? Oh, I think so too. You think so? Yeah, because his A way... would have been closer. Uh... Like, go slow, slow yeah. down a little bit. I want to see oh, how wait, much damage that, that move, did. Is that move stronger at the start? Is that move stronger at the start of the, uh, of the, move, the Sonic neutral? Move? I think it yeah, is. It is, right? So I don't see how much yeah. damage it does. I mean, he was at 146, guys. Like. Yeah, exactly. Under, I, I think that I'm just saying that I think that if he didn't jump, go up, if, if he gotten hit by that on the ground, he might have survived. Did 20 damage? Maybe. I don't know. Mm. I don't no, that's, know. That's 20 damage from point. I don't know. R regardless, <laughs> uh, there's zero counterplay around that room move. Uh, we need to ban Sonic Neutral B. <laughs> Essentially, yes, because we don't know yeah, now. At what point? So we got to ban it now. <laughs> Listen, I'm so sick of people getting hit by Sonic Neutral B three times in every game to die. Uh, uh, I ban the move. Ban the move. It's okay. You All can right. make the losers run, Russell. You're very good. The Sonic fan advances to top eight winner side. Good stuff to them. We're going to have our top eight happen soon. I will be swapping out with UBL Soul. Yes, with UBL Soul. So it was fun commentating with you, something fun. As disconnected as we were, yes. <laughs> Hopefully Discord works next time we try to commentate. <laughs> yeah, um, we, we figured it out. We, we got it all. We got it all. Uh, yeah. You guys never have to worry ever again.